Welcome back to the channel friends, I hope you're doing all dope. In today's video we're going to install the hex server that you can access the go.hex.com frontend from your Mac OS X and with that we're jumping right into it. First you go on go.hex.com where you can download the latest changes. In the last video from yesterday you see all the changes covered and if we scroll down a little bit you can see here run it from your own computer. You have the ability to download the Windows, the Mac OS or the Linux file. Today we're going to show you how to install the Mac version so we're going to download first straight away the Mac version it will open up a download link download the file from GitLab and the Pulse Chain repository so you're all good once the file is downloaded you can have a quick look at the instructions you will find all the necessary information on the GitLab as well and once you downloaded the file you will find it in your downloads folder double click the file to unzip it double click it again to enter into the file and you will find one folder, a readme file and a run hex staking script. So that's all you have to do, you just double click the run hex staking script, the script editor will open up and now we're gonna click the play button up here on the top right. Once you click the play button macOS will ask you if you would like to allow the download folder to access this file. Yes of course and after a little while the hex server is starting. You see it already the website already opened up automatically and if we click here back to the script editor you can just enter OK to exit the staking app but for now we're gonna keep it running of course and here on the browser you see easily your go.hex frontend is up and running. So all you have to do now is connect your MetaMask wallet and you can choose then which mainnet, the Ethereum mainnet or the Pulse Chain mainnet you would like to connect to and everything works just fine. Always double check, you can see on top here we don't have a normal go.hex.com domain, it's just written localhost with the port 3690 and that means you are connected to your local machine, to my local Mac machine which is running the go.hex frontend. Whenever you don't need the hex frontend anymore you just go to the script editor, you click OK to exit the script, now you can also see the script is stopped. If we're gonna reload quickly the web page you can see the web page is no longer reachable and whenever you need the server again you either just play the script or if you also close the script editor of course just double click the run hex staking script and hit play. Once the script is loaded you will see the staking frontend will automatically pop up in your browser and you're good to go. And as you can see it's pretty damn easy to use the hex server on your MacBook. I hope you learned something, stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Peace.